it's the first Watchers and Wonders for you. Is it actually ever because the last time we, you were here, it was called SIHH, if I'm not correct. The SIHH and then Basel World up, up, up the road. Uh, so this is my first Watches and Wonders in, in Switzerland. How is that for you? It's great. I mean, uh, so I wasn't here last year for, for some personal reasons and then COVID, of course. So it's been three or four years since I've seen yourself and, and others. And it's great to be back and seeing people and engaging and seeing the excitement of new things and really getting to touch and feel. These are two watches I haven't seen in the metal. Uh, even though I know all about them, uh, thanks to the internet. Um, but it, it's great to be back, and it's also, I, I'm told that even versus last year, because China and Asia is, is here now, I mean, really a lot more excitement, a lot more uh, people. It's, 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 that's why I'm so curious to see you, because you've seen a lot more than I. Sure. Because my life, uh, you look around, your bed's dust this room, belt. You know, very much that on the way to the restroom, yeah. way back. Yeah. So that's very much my life uh, in, 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 in that week. So on Friday, how Friday afternoon, I can find a bit of time to sure, walk around because at the bottom of our hearts, we, we die in the hard yeah. watch lovers. Yeah. And um, I can't wait to see what the others came up with. But um, bring me to this year, uh, I think it's the first time ever that we launch only one watch. Yeah. And why, why didn't you do that out of curiosity? Uh, three things. First of all, it isn't that often that somebody is launching an integrated automatic chronograph. Mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't happen every year. Uh, it's the first for us, actually, so quite a special one. Yeah. Um, then oh. six years hard work. Uh, we put a lot more resources into that watch than we usually do. Uh -huh. Because six years sounds a lot for people that are not really into the details of uh, a construction, but mm -hmm. you know, six years is a rather tight schedule, and it was clear the watch had to come this year. Uh, so that's why we started long before we launched the Odysseus. Uh, and then we thought, you know, to honor all the hard work, probably better to have it alone. And then secondly, I just think any watch that would compete against it, you know, will also not get. The, the, the attention yeah it, it would have deserved so right. that's that's the least right by a bit and so the, the odysseus chronograph it's the first self-winding chronograph you guys have ever done in 29 years we yeah, well okay. probably in the history of the short but yeah <laughs> and, and and again you know if if you look at the odysseus family launch in 2019 you remember it and, and and i remember i called you because i can share a little secret with uh people who were here in january 2019 yeah um, and we showed you the first prototype. I remember it, yes. Uh, only 10 people saw it actually, yeah. because we just wanted to s test the watch out and give reaction. Uh, see reaction, a lot of things you could not have changed until the 19th of uh, the 24th of October, not just me, but we were interested. Um, and then we had the heated debate at the beginning, as you may recall, yeah. there were as Gary Getz said, the, the lovers, the haters, and the trolls. Right, of course. And they were all over us. Yep. Uh, and we already worked on the chronograph. So had that watch failed, a lot of resources would have gone into something which, you know, then would have been nothing. Yeah. But, you know, here we are. It worked. And it worked. Yeah. Uh, gladly. And if you said you have not seen these watches. I haven't. I haven't seen the titanium version, yeah. So uh, that, that's the novelties of last year, and that's why we also brought all the novelties that we launched over the last three years to watches and watches, mm -hmm. because the Asians weren't there last year. Mm -hmm. Everything after 2019 was launched digitally. Right. Um, I share no secret, but even I have not seen all the novelties at one place at one time. Wow. Uh, because, you know, they usually leave uh, whenever we're done with the, with the launch. Uh -huh. So that just tells us how much stress these cool people from the factory on go through because it's one thing presenting the watches is a very different story to train the watchmaker and that to launch the watches and distribute them. Uh -huh. No, and it's it's amazing to see this watch in particular because this I think was probably in my little circle, the hottest watch of last year. Everybody wanted one, I know that, and only 250 will be made. Yes. Why is that? Why wouldn't you make this a serially produced watch like the, the steel watch? Actually, you know, it, 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 it. The, the, if you think about, we stopped taking orders for the stainless steel Odysseus, okay. because 
I know already that production places for the next years are occupied and, um, and I'm not a big fan of having waiting lists for seven, eight years, because I don't know what we do in five years from now on. Right. Um, to further stretch the same department that also produces the Langer one by making that an unlimited watch, uh -huh. uh, would have just stretched too many people and would have created even more frustrations because then you try to get it, uh, and it's one thing to say it's sold out, which you can do if you have a limited uh, series, right? But you can't do that if it's unlimited, right? Right. And this watch is so interesting because it's it's titanium. Yeah. Obviously, but there's really fine polishing on yeah. the edges of the links here. It's done in house, you know. Yeah. Or find somebody that can do it to the level of detail that we wanted to apply to the bracelet. And if you touch it. And I can see already how you go. It's very it's always silky and you know, yeah. smooth. There's no edge on it. It feels warm. Funny enough, I think it feels soft. Even the material, as we know, is a lot harder than the typical stainless steel. Uh -huh. And what was the, the thinking behind doing in titanium versus a full precious metal bracelet or, or something like that? I, we, we, we did that before. You know, there are watches from us uh, from the old days where... Um, we produced a, 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 a very high bracelet, it's our precious metal bracelet. So we've been there, but we never, we never did titanium. I know. And the Odysseus for us, the family, is our playground yeah. where we can stretch the boundaries of our Lago Unzuna a little bit without losing ourselves. So we were rather conservative with the other five watch families here. We have the freedom to play around, and that's why we, you know probably surprised everybody by launching it in titanium. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's really amazing how, how, how light it is. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, you look at it, it you think, yeah, because our brain works with, with associations. So you look yeah. at it as a stainless, as a, as a bright look. Yeah. They're heavy and then it isn't. Yeah. So the, there's another brand here, the one with the crown, I think, but also the titanium watches too, you know, by, by, apparently titanium ever. <laughs> yeah. It, it's uh, an innovation, you know? <laughs> Uh, it, it's amazing to see, you know, really fine watch this uh, down level than 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 yeah. the Rolex for short. Uh, it's amazing to see really fine watches like this in titanium, which you really don't see very often at all. I had a, a watch around my wrist until Friday, yeah, um, and I had it around my wrist as we went to South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the main reason for me trying it. It's it's a very addictive watch in a way that. You don't feel it anymore. It's right. very natural. It yeah. feels part of you very yeah. quickly. So, um, and because it's so light and takes on your temperature, your body temperature almost immediately. Mm -hmm. So you never have that effect that you have rather with stainless steel. You know, you put it, it's pretty cold or yeah. warm. This one, not at all. So, yeah. um, if you, if you, if you can bear that now, which, which I think is always nice. Yeah. Um, it's pretty clear. Yes. You know, same family. Uh, if I look at your Langer one and if you look at all the Langer ones, I, I think it's fair to say that's exactly the same. I mean, look at the Langer one, it doesn't matter which one. It's a Langer one. We look at the side track, it's a side track. And that was the idea here as well, you know, to have, to have a watch that comes with a complication, but it looks exactly or you know, is supporting the architecture of, of the Odysseus family. Yeah, I, I, I would venture to say this is probably the, the most complicated watch I can think of that looks the least complicated, yes. if that makes any sense, for, for any family. Well, it's just so many sense, like the Richard Lange Pone Merit, you know, the yeah. hands, but a fusion chain mechanism. So, yeah. uh, you know, uh, that's really much us. Yeah, it, it's funny, somebody saw this quickly online the first day and said, oh, how's the, the dual time zone, Odysseus? Yeah, people really didn't understand that this was something far more complicated to stand it a little bit as you know. So, amazing. <laughs> and how's been, the, how has the reaction been to it? It's to... been phenomenal. It, 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 it needs a bit of explanation, actually, because people don't understand. You know, there's the one guy that said, uh, Oh, it can measure two times up to 60 uh, seconds because you didn't realize the one is a minute hand or minute cal, the other right. second out of. If you look at the big one, uh, something, oh, it's a chronograph rata paw because it has these typical, you know, the two hands uh, uh, go like this. But matter of fact, it's a, it's a chronograph and, you know, to accommodate for the architecture, it had to come out of the center. 
front. Um, which also adds a bit of height. Of course, there's quite a few hands that have to go on top of each other. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, wearing it, and as I said, wearing the lightest one, but then getting the heavy one. Yep. I was wondering how it works on the wrist. Well, look at my wrists. And yep. as Tony said, I have ladies' wrists, oh, which are difficult too. Uh, <laughs> you don't see anything. It's comfortable. Yeah. And I think the, the amazing thing about it is that it's self-winding. I mean, it's a usable, wearable watch. It's a uh, yeah. good it's an everyday watch. And, you know, some people say I like the first iteration as always, you know, as yep. endless debates. But, but I think the size, the proportions actually work very well with it. I agree. This thicker is also slightly wider. So yeah. It's 14 millimeter high and 2 millimeter wider. But because it grows proportionally, it actually works quite nice. Yeah. And the wrist, and uh, if I had a seat on your wrist, I think it's. Quite natural. Yeah, and it looks natural. I can't have it, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it looks great. And it, it's so interesting. I mean, the, the dynamic buttons, I think, is something that people really don't understand I, at all when you look at it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you have no idea how many times I was pushing the button. They say, what yeah. did you do? Because yeah. they don't realize, you know, these are these are pushers. Right. Because they don't look like pushers. No, it's, it's a really thoughtful design. And as we said earlier, I mean, it really, it, it is that design just now with the a different complication that really uh, changes things. And we even maintained the functionality, you yeah, know, because that adjust as a day date. It's yeah. quite cheap. Pull the crown here. I know. Uh, you can adjust the day date yeah. exactly with the same pushers that you used to operate the chronograph before for me. So, we, you know, we maintained all these little things that were so clear for the Odysseus. And, and that's, uh, you know, I think Tony and the team did a great job. Uh, no, it's to come up with, with the family. It's really amazing. It's only 100 pieces of this. Yes. 250 of this. Yes. 100, very simple because, you know, the, we're famous for chronographs. You know, that's our speciality. Really, really like that. Yeah. Um, that department is already on the strain. Uh-huh. Now we put even more problems into it because we bring a brand new automatic uh, chronograph to a 100, and it takes us probably four years to deliver. Wow. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. So you're setting expectations publicly here right now. Right now. Four years, everybody. I, that's just, you know, that yeah, again. you're lucky you want to get the first. We yeah. come a bit earlier, but yeah. we hope that we finish the 100 watches within the next four years. Yeah, I'm curious, have you found clients willing to wait that long, or do people get upset that they, you know, they're buying such a expensive thing, Yeah, you know, they, they feel that they deserve something right away? But, uh, no. <laughs> I think, you know, that's not your first, that's not your first watch. Yeah. And, and typically, because we're not a famous brand for everybody, I think we are only good for people that understand fine watchmaking. They mm-hmm. also understand the implications it has on our factory. Mm-hmm. And so for them, it's pretty clear that it will take some time. Right. Of course, everybody wants to be the first. I understand that. Yeah. Uh, from what I hear right now, uh, I, I've not heard somebody expressing your frustrations because he or she will need to wait a little bit. Right. And so what is this over here? That's the, again, novelty from last year, which is the Richard Lange Minute Repeater. Yeah. Um, and again, I know that you haven't seen it. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, maybe people on my side is a bit high. Uh, I understand that. Even this is pretty flat, but... You know, to, to get a minute repeater uh, in 39 millimeter, uh, very, very thin, super thick. Yeah. Data. And what we are particularly proud of is a dial because it's a completely uh, thin house enamel, almost enamel dial yeah. where even the printing and all that is done by us. Mm. Um, and it always sounds easy. And it isn't, hmm. you know, you, it takes a long time before you really understand how to do something like that. Hmm. There's no book. And unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, there's also nobody that, because though you did a video out that year ago, right. and there's no YouTube video. Yeah. So it's tried and error, and there's a lot of trial and a lot of error, and but here we are, and, and, and I am very proud of that. Waterproof to three ATM, I think the sound is just, just caution, yes, especially for platinum. Platinum, well, yeah. Tony always said metal doesn't matter. Uh-huh. You know, it's like the sound that you want to generate. Um, and he's very happy that the rhythm is clear. Yeah. Um, so you can count. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you have these minute repeaters that ding, 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 
you can hear. Um, we all know how difficult it is to build minute repeat of that. That, that, that is the complication. Yeah. As I always say, and I said it before, they all talk about the three big complications. Um, to be a perpetual calendar and then everything to do with acoustic. And I agree, acoustic, that's, you know, Champions League, that's really special. If I ask my people, chronograph, split chrono, double split, triple, triple split, or this, or a perpetual calendar, <clears throat> I know what they go for. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's more difficult to assemble than perpetual, perpetual calendar. Interesting. Uh, this is a lot of happens here. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, this is so interesting because it looks really just like one of my favorite washes, the Richard Lange Preliminary, the original. Yes, yeah. yes, very much. And it's even more complicated than yeah. one can say that. Yeah, no, it's really, really incredible. And only 50 pieces of that. Yes, yes. And yeah. again, it will take a few years for us to produce it. Yeah. And how many uh, individual mini repeaters has Lange made? Well, we, we did the six... Grand complication, which is minute repeater and Wozonery, Petitsonery, and all, all the stuff there. Everything. Yeah. Um, then we have the most unusual minute repeater, I would say, because it's a decimal right. repeater, mm -hmm. the, the Zeitwerk. Uh, and uh, we did it in two iteration, a platinum version and then the white gold. Yeah. And it's a dark blue one. This is not a third one. It's amazing. Three. In 30, 29 years. And this is such an elegant, I mean, this is like really, really pure yeah. watchmaking. You, you can put that around your wrist and it's just like, yeah, nobody would know. No. If you, uh, only if you see the slider actually, you, you would you would know if you know. Yeah. How many people know what it means? Not many, many. Yeah. No, really, really beautiful. I mean, that to me is like a real gentleman's response, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Bit expensive, but you know, you know what you get. It's uh, really, really beautiful. Wonderful, Ben. So that gives you a good idea about the uh, new, yeah, uh, uh, new, uh, new, and I still admire your honey gold. That's a nice book. <laughs> yeah. So on that, so next year is a big year. That to you is a year. Yeah. Weirdly, it says thirty right there on my watch right now. You see? Yeah. <laughs> Anything you can uh, you can tease, or is it too early? No, it's too early. It's too early. It's too early. And we also love to surprise people like you. Yeah. If I give it away, right? What's the fun? Yeah. Yeah. But suffice it to say, it should be a good year next year. It's 25 years of datograph, 30 years of uh, like a one. Yeah. That'll be a good year. Okay. Another book for it. Amazing. Can't wait. Wonderful. Ben, thank you. Um, that was a, you know, even I don't get to watch all the time. I, think I don't see them that often. Yeah. Trust me. Uh, lovely. Thank you. My pleasure. Wonderful. See you next year. Definitely. Oh, I hope before. Yeah. <laughs> Made to bad.